Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Tiffany, retired librarian turned homeschool mom. And in this video, we're going to continue uh, history tea time with Lindsay Holiday on looking at the queens and consorts of England. We have moved on from these, um, we're on to the, hand, the stewards. So Elizabeth has died and now let's, now we have King James from Scotland. So how are they related? So Elizabeth, and it leads to Mary, this is Mary Queen of Scots' son. So Elizabeth's aunt, um, King Henry VIII's sister, married to the Scottish throne. She had a son, James, who had a daughter, Mary, who then had a son, James. So it was um, Mary Queen of Scots' father was Queen Elizabeth's first cousin. And then it's Mary Queen of Scots was her second cousin because this was his daughter. And then this is the third cousin. So she is marrying her aunt's great grandson. Well, not marrying, but her heir is her aunt's great grandson. So that's how history rolls these days, just because of young marriages and multiple children. So James takes over. Now, his wife is from Denmark. So this is Anne of Denmark. So they kind of like each other at first. She has trouble getting over. They're married by proxy, so they never meet in person before they're married. He's still king of Scotland, not king of England yet. And he hasn't been raised by his mother. If you're familiar with the Mary Queen of Scots things, she kind of arranged for his hus her hu husband to be killed because he was kind of a dick. And they chased them out of the country and basically her child was ripped from her when he was a matter of months old. So he was raised by Protestants. And so they had a Protestant coronation. So Anne comes over, she brings some opulence. They're both Protestant. And then Queen Elizabeth dies and they're, they come, uh, they'll become King Queen of England. Now, by this time they hate each other. They loathe each other. And the Scottish uh, royal family has the tradition of the mother not raising her own children. So she was not happy about this. Her first son, Henry was taken from her. She argued with her husband. He made her cry in front of the court and she did not like him and they continued to get hatred further. Um, yeah, they didn't like each other. They obviously had multiple more children uh, until I think her last child, which may have been the 11th, um, died shortly. Uh, I think she was stillborn and and nearly followed her. So after that, they stopped living together at all. Um, and she had her children because basically when he became king of England, he said, come. And she said, not until you give me my kid back. So, cause she got, she had the rest of her children and he relented. So he gave her, I believe he was nine. Her son was nine. So you can have your kid back if you will come to England. So they were crowned king and queen of a Protestant ceremony. So they basically, and of course, England was already Protestant, Protestant through Elizabeth. So they hated each other. She was very opulent. She was not entirely liked. Be, um, well, no, she no, she was liked. She liked she 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 was very much liked by the English people. She it was her daughters in laws. Uh, more issues with Catholics coming up. So, but she was very, very opulent. Her son, uh, her eldest son died of typhoid when he was 18. So the heir would have gone, went down to the next son, which was Charles and problems. Um, so basically she and her husband loathed and despised each other for generations. Um, eventually, of course, I believe she became getting sick after her son because she was a very opulent. She spent a lot of money and she was she had her own home and her own court, and yeah, things were not, um, she, she ate and drank and did all sorts of things. It was also rumored that she had lovers of her own, because her husband was obviously philandering, as they do. So, I think both, once both of them, no, he dies, and Charles, um, becomes king. And Charles, on the encouragement of his mother, she, it's rumored that she converted to Catholicism. So he incur she encourages her children to marry into the French royal family, which he does. So his wife is uh, Henry Maria of France. 
yeah, she's hated. She's very, very Catholic. She flaunts her Catholicism. Obviously, she can't be crowned um, queen consort, really, because she's Catholic. He's Protestant. Um, problems. They did have uh, children, several. But she was she was very opulent. She flaunted her Catholic faith when they were still hanging Catholics. There was a lot of anti-Catholic sentiment. They blamed her for it. She was, they, this is when, um, again, we have the uh, colonies going on in the, in what is now the United States. So Maryland is named after her because it became a Catholic sanctuary at the time. But yes, she was very, very Catholic. She was very, very hated. She was very opulent. She was not basically welcome. She, I don't think she spoke English very well. So yeah. And then of course, Charles pisses people off like crazy because he's taxing them like nuts and Parliament's getting pissed off. He has a Catholic queen and off with his head. So she, she escapes uh, giving birth, I believe. And then she flees to France. Her children eventually join her and she begs for him to compromise and no, off with his head. Uh, so Charles I is killed. Then you have the whole um, obviously the monarchy starts and you have a, you have our darling, interesting man that is Oliver Cromwell, you know, in his murderous rage against the Catholics and the Catholics. So, uh, and Christmas. Yeah, Cromwell actually canceled Christmas and, you know, Mary Man, he was just a miserable human being. So obviously once he dies, the English is fed up and they invite now what would be King Charles the second home. So he comes home. Now, again, he's, um, well, he's a philanderer, uh, for one thing. He marries, his wife is, one, Catholic, but two, Portuguese. Her name is Catherine of Bonanza, and she is, I believe, very young. So, and despite the fact that he has mistresses upon mistresses upon mistresses and no legitimate children, say that. Um, they actually love each other. She kind of turns the other way. She keeps her Catholic faith kind of to herself, and she she's liked by the um, English people. So she is very much, I believe, Queens, New York is named after um, her. So she's very much liked. She also brings uh, tea, uh, sugar, cotton, a couple of other things, to England. So you have her to thank for tea. So despite his mistresses, they are actually devoted to each other. She dies. I think her mother, her mother, her mother-in-law likes her and her mother-in-law stays in England. She comes back with her son. She eventually goes back to France because the English weather sucks. And <laughs> that's where she dies. But again, they like each other. They love each other eventually. Of course, multiple mistresses, things were awkward, but she was still liked by the English people. They they have no legitimate children. And in fact, he was encouraged by Parliament to divorce his Catholic wife and marry a Protestant who could give him sons. He said no. She was with him um, when he died. So she goes home. So she goes home. She goes back to Portugal and serves as an advisor to her brother and serves as his regent a couple of times. And that's where she's, that's where she's buried. So now we're moving on to James. So this is King James, I believe the second. This is Charles's brother. Now, similar to his brother, they, they have issues because Catholic. So he's Catholic. Now he had married, he, right before they went back to England, he had impregnated a commoner, I believe by the name of um, Anne. Now she does not become queen. They have multiple children, which he adores, which apparently was very unusual. He doted on his children. This was before he became king. But she, only two of their children survive, Anne and Mary. And then, now they're being raised Protestant. Brother dies. James, now she dies first. And then he's made king, 
he marries, you now his two daughters, who are his heirs, Anne and Mary, are raised, again, Protestant. So he marries Mary of Moderna. So she's Catholic. And he's being encouraged to marry her from his cousin in France. So she's, yeah, she's French. And again, Catholic. This does not make the English people happy. They don't like her. She's annoying. Um, she has multiple pregnancies, which they don't entirely care about that much until she gives birth to a boy. Now, by this time, Anne and uh, Mary are adults by this time this happens, and they're friends with her because she was young. She was very young. She was about 16, and they were about 11 and, like, 9 when she meets them, so... The age difference wasn't huge. They became they become friends. But the English people don't like her. And when she has a boy, yeah, out they go. Because the Protestants, they don't, the country has now been ruled by Protestants. So Parliament is a Protestant country. So out they go. So they're basically chased off. And the Parliament invites Mary and her husband, William, to come over and rule together. That's the reason they're not, they're kind of talked about, but they're not, William's not a king consort because they rule as king and queen. I believe they're distantly related. Um, so they come over, this is William of Orange. So they rule, mostly Mary is the one in charge, um, but they don't have any living children. So her heir is her sister, Anne. So eventually he dies, she rules, no, she dies, he rules alone for a while. And then he dies and Anne takes over. Now, she's married to a man by the name of George of Denmark. And he has no real major titles. He takes very much a backseat to his wife. So she much did, did um, much of the ruling. Now, she had 16 children. 16. None of her children survived into adulthood. I think her... The only one that survived out of childhood um, into teenhood, um, her son died at like 15 or 16. So yeah, she had no heirs. And when she died, her crown, now they had to basically, they made the sign, the parliament made a rule that it could only go to Protestant members of the royal family. So yeah, not happening with James the I's kids, the rest of them, because they are Catholic. So the the next um, basically round is the Hanovers. And this is going to, as much as even there's two videos, the Hanovers is where the direct descendants lie even now. So this is where they come over. It goes to, this is George the I. His, we're going back up through history here. So this is the grandchildren again, going all the way up here. So it's the daughter um, of, I believe, um, trying to think of where the history is. Going up. We're going back to James the first. It's his sister, his sister's daughter, this is her grandson. So it's James the first's um, nephew, or no, great nephew. So yeah, so it's his sister's daughter, who is Sophia, who's technically Anne's heir. They die right around the same time, and Anne doesn't necessarily want them over. She does not like them, and remember who died first? I think Sophia drops dead when uh, Anne sends a letter saying, "You will not come into England until I'm dead." They both die at the same time. Her, Sophia's son, uh, George, is the next, moves into the next dynasty. So that's it for this video. These are very interesting. It goes into these queen consorts. I'm enjoying these videos. This one specifically is, we're looking at how long this one is. This is the steward. So this is about 28 minutes. So it's a decent decent long. It's close to a half an hour long video. It's very, very interesting. I'm Again, I'm enjoying these. So if you like what you see, I'm going to finish a couple more videos on her. I'm uh, currently covering the Princess Diaries 
which is why I'm doing these some more slightly less fluff and more history on the video side. So check out the rest of the channel. I do a lot of book series and films. I do some of these educational YouTube things, um, some secular homeschooling stuff. My daughter's really young. By the time you see this, she'll be about three and a half. So at the time I'm viewing this, she's two and a half. So the homeschooling stuff, as well as some travel stuff, as we're able to get out, um, will be coming as well as some variety of other stuff. So be sure to check out the rest of my channel, like, and subscribe. I have a good library already available to you. So leave a positive comment if you have one. Thank you.